Today, I'm gonna to cover the five fitness items you need to get in shape in 2018. So let's jump right into the video. Hi everyone, it's Derek here with Gamer Body, and from the introduction, you know we're gonna talk about the five pieces of home fitness equipment you need to get in shape in 2018. So let's start off with number one, the resistance bands. All right, everybody, so item number one is the resistance bands. I have these in my hand right now. These are all of my resistance bands that I own, just five different ones, goes from five to 25 pounds. And this is the Shreds resistance bands, if you wanna check them out. I have a link in the description if you wanna go and buy them, but these are those bands. So it comes with an 11-piece set, also has a door uh, stopper, um, and a bunch of other handle grips, so I think it's an 11-piece set that you get if you get the Shreds ones. Um, I love these, I've had them for a very long time. I've switched out from using dumbbells to pretty much only using these because if you use them the right way, you can get some crazy resistance with them, and I really, really, really like them, and they're not expensive at all, um, and you can get in great shape. You can also take them wherever you want, you can put them in a suitcase pretty easy and take them anywhere you need to go. You don't need dumbbells that weigh, like, like I might go up to 50 pounds, and I can't really take that traveling, so you can use these. Super lightweight, get the resistance you need, and do all your exercises like that. Again, these come in at around $22, so not too expensive. Um, great for your home gen, you'll be using them over and over again. I do stuff like bicep curls, tricep extensions, um, back rows with them, all from home. Really, really simple and really, really cheap. So check them out, and that is item number one. All right, and into item number two, we have push-up bars. Now, these are the perfect push-up bars, the original version, not the elite ones. Um, I actually did make a review on why I wouldn't buy these again. But I decided after that to try them out. For some reason, this product always catches my eye. Those guys at Perfect know what they're doing for their marketing. And for some reason, I just keep coming back to them and trying them again. And recently, I've changed up my workout routine a little bit to have things like L-sits and whatnot. And these are actually really awesome for them. So why they're cool is because they actually rotate. So the bottoms of these actually rotate around. And you can, um, to hold yourself there, it's actually a little harder. So it makes it a little more difficult to actually do it. Because you don't want to be rotating out your hands like this. You want to be staying straight like this, or like this, I should say, the parallel bars, um, in order to hold yourself up off the ground during an L-sit. So that's why I use them. I also use them for my push-ups now and all that stuff. So I really went from not buying them at all again to potentially buying the Elite versions and reviewing them for you. So I've kind of changed my mind on this one, you guys. I actually really do like the perfect push-up bars. Go ahead, try them out. The only thing that I don't like about them again is the hand grips. I wish they were round and the Elite ones are, and that's why I'm pretty drawn to the Elite ones. We'll see if I end up buying them. Um, these ones come in at around $16 online right now. Um, I think they are on sale for me a little bit, but they're about 16, 20 bucks, not too expensive. You can get them for your home gym. And I forgot to mention in the first video, the price of the resistance bands, which come in at around $22. So that's pretty cheap. You should go get those and check them out. All right, we got item number three, which is the ab rollouts. Now this is my preferred ab roller that I have that I use at home, and it comes from Perfect. So we just saw the Perfect push-up bars. We now have the Perfect Ab Carver Pro. That's what this item is. Link in the description to the Amazon product page. I've had this thing for quite some time, and I love it. It's really, really easy. It takes all of a minute to put together. It just has these little clips on the bottom, so you can actually just like, take it right out. It allowed me, so take it right out. You just put it right back in, and it just clips right in, and you can use the item as you need to. So there you go, that's all you have to do, it's just two handles and the middle piece. Great item, used it for a very long time, have had no issues, and it's definitely worth your money. Um, I believe it comes in around $30 right now on Amazon, um, so it's not too bad. Uh, these things do add up, but again, we're only using five items, so I think we're at around, like, what, $70 or so, um, which is cheaper than a year at the gym, so we're gonna keep going with this, but definitely get the Ab Cover Pro, I love it for my abs. Um, it, it can really, if you do it the right way, it works, guys. It really, really does work. You just got to make sure you're doing the ab roller the correct way. So that is it for item number three, the ab carver pro or just ab wheel in general. All right, and item number four I don't have with me here because it's rather big. It is a dip bar station. So I recently did buy a dip bar station. It's um, the Pro Source Multi-Grip Dip Bar. I'll link in the description to it. I'm going to actually play some videos on screen for you guys of what it looks like to use it. Um, this is the most expensive of all the items. It came in for me at around $90, but there are cheaper ones if you want to check it out. So I saw one that's like a mountain dip bar. It's like by the mountain brand or whatever. They also do resistance bands as well. If you want one that's like $40 to $50, but mine I did go and buy the Amazon recommended one. Um, a lot of these are actually the Amazon recommended versions of each thing, and I really, really like each one of these. 
Um, but this one, it comes in, it's a little more expensive again and $90, but again, you can do a lot of stuff with this. I do things like body weight rows on them. I do, of course, tricep and chest dips. And then I can do things like leg raises or whatnot on it. And it, it has become one of my favorite tools to use. Like the pull up bar and dip bar, oh, you can get so much out of both of them. Um, it's all just straight body weight. Eventually I may need like a weighted vest, but as of right now, I don't really need it. And dips were something I used to do at the gym and I like, somehow forgot about them, but I'm putting them back in because I think dips, they're not in my top five, but it is my number six exercise dips are. So definitely, definitely check out this item. They are pretty hard for new guys. So if you're just starting out, you might want to do things like um, just eccentric versions of a dip and things like that, or just body weight rows with them. But I definitely feel like it has to be in your your top five items when working out at home, especially in 2018, to get in the best shape of your life. Triceps are super neglected body part, especially when it comes to fitness. Don't forget about them. Do some tricep dips. It's great for your chest as well and your shoulders. So one of the best items that you can use is a dip bar. So go check it out. All right, and getting into exercise equipment number five, we have the pull-up bar. So this is my favorite one. If I had to pick any piece of equipment, it would be a pull-up bar. Now this is the pro source multi-grip pull-up bar um, that I got. So this one's pretty awesome. You have a bunch of different handles here that you can use to do it. It's built really well, um, fit pretty much in any dorm frame you want. Um, link in the description too if you want to check it out as this is the one I am now using. I've had a couple in the past, but this one is pretty awesome. Um, it does come in at around $27. So it's not too bad. It's actually pretty cheap, especially with all these grips, hand grips and stuff like that. That's not too bad for a pull-up bar system. Um, but this is again one of my favorite pieces of equipment and a must-have for any home gym enthusiast like myself So that is it for the five pieces of home exercise equipment. All right, and that's it So those are the five pieces of equipment that I recommend you have for your home gym um, I do work out at home I currently do not have a gym membership and those are the items that I'm using each and every day I do have a few other small ones here and there to help um, add a little variation to things but each one of these is used and is the main use for all of my workouts. So you can just get these, use them, and you'll be good to go for your gym needs. So I hope you did like this video. If you did, please like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. If you have any questions and comments, please leave them below. Also, if you'd like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, please head over to GamerBody.com and apply to work with me. We'll go over, have a phone call, and I'll talk about what you can get out of working with me one-on-one, -on -one, and we'll see if you, we can get you in shape in 2018. So again, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everybody. And this, what's he doing, is to go even further beyond.